This is my Lego power saw. I made it out of Mindstorms. Lego Mindstorms, very simple. And I believe I got the idea from, um, let me say, NX, nxtprograms.com. So if you want to find instructions for programs that you can download for a lot of other projects, go to nxtprograms.com. So how it works is, I see it's turned on. Can't see because of the glare, but um, the handle here. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. And what you do is you hold it, and when you press the button right here, this will spin very fast. So watch. Ready? Push the button. And when you release it, it stops. So when you want it to turn, you just have to hold the button down, like so. And it spins. Really, really fast. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it uses a series of gears to make it spin faster. Because you can see how fast this spins. I'll show you. Com then later on, compared to how fast the motor is actually spinning. Pretty fast, right? And this is from the motor of how fast it spins. Um, it's harder to see on the camera, but in reality, um, I can't really say, but in reality, the motor's not spinning all that fast. So the gears make it spin faster, and it's very powerful. And how they tell you how to build it online is with the blades here facing the other way. So it would spin like this, and this and like sort of the edge right here would be the part that would cut and I didn't like that because it's not very sharp at all and it doesn't really like make a lot of damage or like hurt someone if you want to so I reversed them so now cause it it always spins this way so I just switch teeth around so now it's the pointed edge that do, does the cutting end makes more damage and is I think better so now I will show you a demo of it cutting paper alright you can see I have two Lego brick containers here I have a piece of paper so regular piece of printing paper and I will cut it with the power saw um, Alright, to find something to weigh that down. Um, use this magnet. One of the most powerful magnets you can get. Grade M50 Neodymium. So, alright, here it goes. As you can see, it shoots through the paper pretty good. And you can see a lot of ragged, jagged tooth marks from the saw. You can see. And it does work pretty efficiently. And I'll show it to you again. But this time, I'm going to do two layers at once. I, have, I haven't tried this before, so I don't know how it's going to turn out. Alright, here it goes.
Alright, I don't think it cuts two layers of paper that well. Try it one more time. Yeah, so it's not really working with uh, two pieces of paper right now. So it's just kind of fun to mess around with, go around the house, try to mess stuff up with it. Um, just a fun toy, quick build, doesn't use a lot of parts. And pretty easy. And the program, you don't have to program it. It's uh, like a preset program that you can download. And a tip when you download it, you have to have the NXT programming window up. Like if you're going to make a program and you just like minimize it. And then when you, on the site, when you click like, you have to click the program name, it'll be like highlighted. And then it'll automatically download it and everything. So, as I tried it before, or a long time ago, I wanted to build something. And I didn't have the program running on the computer, and it didn't work. So, you have to have the um, at the Mindstorms program builder program running on your computer when you do it, and then it'll just automatically come up and then download the program. So that's basically my Lego power saw. Very fun and easy to build.